We all know that Easter is right around the corner, and if you're getting ready to host a gathering that day, we're here to help with some wine, of course. So I am hosting. I don't know anything about cooking, but I do know a lot about wine, and so does my very good friend, Adam Kneezer, certified sommelier. I already cheated a little. Did uh, you? We did. Oh, we, we took a little sip. We took a liberty. Oh, okay. liberty. We wanted to make sure it wasn't moldy for you. Got it's it. not. It's delicious. But what are we drinking today? So today, uh, you know, with Easter in mind, not only am I wearing the lion that tried to audition for the Cadbury cream egg That's Easter not true. commercial. Is that true? No. <laughs> no, it is. But it is his wife Gladys. Oh, uh, no. This um, is a fierce <laughs> talk. I love it. You know what's funny is Cavalli normally does animal prints, but I don't think lion print works. No. I think lion print looks more like I'm just wearing golden or, retriever. Yes, right, yeah. So it's you like know I don't dog. It's I'm wearing dog. Lion. <laughs> You've got cargo pants. Yeah. I've got Leo season. I baby, love it. Listen, I know Aries season starts today, but it's always Leo uh, season. I'd agree with uh, that. But we're drinking Shannon Blanc. And Chenin Blanc is a grape that I absolutely adore because it does everything. Yeah. And this particular one comes to us from Stellenbosch in South Africa. And so Chenin is a French grape. It's from the Loire Valley, but more is grown here than anywhere else in the world. Around 18% of South Africa's vineyards are dedicated to this grape. Oh. It's really good. So I just took a sip. So what are we getting out of this? Because is is it a little not tart? Tart isn't. It's not quite tart, but there's something. Yeah, there yeah. is a little bit of a sharpness to yeah. it. So what I love about Shannon is that it simultaneously gives you mouth-filling, really rich texture, flavors of tropical fruits, but also citrusiness. Yeah. But yes. then at the end, it finishes with really razor-sharp high acidity. So why does that work with Easter? Well, ham, vegetables, anything that you throw at this can stand up to it, but that acid is gonna wipe the slate clean for your next bite. It's not sweet at oh, all. Oh, it's a palate cleanser. It's a palate oh. cleanser and a palate pleaser. Uh, yes, yes, it is. Okay. I love a good palate cleanser. I will say, um, when we were talking before, I enjoy a drier wine. I don't like any wine that tastes like a candy. This has the perfect amount of sweet to it. Yeah. So if there's anyone like me who has a hard time finding whites sometimes that are a little less sweet, this would be it. And the thing about this is, you know, I always try to bring something that is accessible and affordable. And what's really great about Shannon's from South Africa is that this particular bottle comes in at under $15. Wow. And if you're looking on the shelves here in Pennsylvania, you're going to find excellent examples from $9.99, for example, the uh, Swartland-based David uh, and, and, and Nadia, they're going to bring to you some, some Swartland Shannons, which are a little bit richer. Right. But then you also have some like Ken Forrester, other producers, all in that $10 to $15 range. And so don't be afraid to try. It's not going to break the bank, and right. it's going to give you a lot of bang for your buck. Can we talk about the grapes and, and why this does so well in South Africa? Yeah, so what's really unique about Shannon is it's from France, the north, where it's typically a bit cooler. And in South Africa, we're dealing with much warmer conditions. But the nice thing about Shannon is that even in warm conditions, it retains a high acidity level. And so it doesn't feel like it falls apart and flabby on the palate. That razor sharp acidity is something we normally associate with cooler climates, but Shannon keeps it even in really warm conditions. And so it's been a workhorse grape down there for a long time, but we've got lots of old vines that give us really good stuff. It's oh my really God. good. Are you liking it? I, uh, probably too much. Easter's about to be <laughs> lit at my house. I, you know, now I want ham. I don't know what it does. It's like making me crazy. You know, I need every, a parrot. Every time I'm here, we talk about ham. Did you notice that? <laughs> every time. Why is that? You well, get us excited to eat, <laughs> drink, and be merry. All right. Like Angie Jordan. Ham. You got it. Yep. Cheers. So find out how you can book Adam for your next event or have him teach you about wine pairings. Head to our website, kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh for more information. And we will be right back after the break.